Hi everyone, it's Daniel from Poverty Gamer Guru Guide. Uh, and this, um, I will be continuing the series. Uh, in this uh, video, I will uh, start uh, Morning Suns Part 2, which is uh, the longest single part quest in the game. Uh, approximately, uh, maybe arguable, uh, some of the Nori quests. But Recipe disasters, multiple parts. Uh, that's not among the longest. Uh, uh, maybe some of the farming quests uh, we were waiting around, but uh, aside from that, uh, that maybe. Uh, I guess I, I know I'm, I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I'll have to pause during the video a few times, but we'll. We'll work our way through as best we can. Uh, so this was an old 2005 quest. Uh, uh, this was uh, the sequel to Morning Zones Part 1, which had a lot of problems with the quest. If you watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'll just try to work our way through this as best we can. Uh, we need a full set of mortars gear, uh, should I have that here. We need a rope. Uh, we need 50 assorted items from a list. Uh, or, or some means of, of accessing uh, the death altar. Alright, so I have here the wicked hood, which I will be able to teleport there. I uh, also have um, death uh, talisman and tiara. Um, if you get the Wicked Hood from uh, Taverly, uh, it's, uh, the guy east of the Lodestone that goes those out, and then you can use the Talisman on the Hood, and then you can teleport directly there uh, towards the end of the quest, and then you won't need to uh, worry about having the uh, these. You must be able to port directly there. That makes it so much easier. All right, combat. Uh, you're not actually, you don't actually need to attack the creatures, but there will be, you will be um, throughout, um, for almost an, an, a good solid hour, depending on how long it takes you to get through the temple, uh, set up the things, uh, you will um, be attacked. Constantly by aggressive level 95 shadows. I, I'm going to tell you ahead of time, I'm going to need to uh, pass several times out of that to, to calm down just because it's so aggravating. So, uh, I brought a, lot of, brought a lot of food to show you. These are primal feasts. I made a previous video about that, how to add someone to assist me to make those uh, because it's a, a very high level cooking item. Like, they have to put uh, pushing it to uh, make the final product. All right, so difficulty is a master um, quite a level quest, very, very long. Uh, you get two quest points, which I think you deserve more for that, but that's what they do. 20,000 agility experience, a crystal trinket, allowing access to the Temple of Light. I think uh, they just modify the um, uh, teleport see uh, uh, that's it uh, if I remember correctly access to the death, uh, death altar access to dark beast requires some um, 90 stars, uh, 90 something like that I need two treasure hunter keys so uh, and then we will speak to the head mourner however we need to report our findings from warning zones part one to Ari and Wynn and Litra before we start. All right, so uh, then I, uh, I have here on my arm, what is this doing? Why does it have this popped up here? Should I have the done? All right, I'm wearing a, a full set of bandos, which is almost 70 armor. Um, I was gonna try to get level, I have, uh, level 82 um, or above and all of, 
uh, 80 constitution, but the rest of my combat stats are level 82 and above. I was going to get a level 80 Torva, but uh, as of today, that set is approximately 300 million coins. So uh, I think I will just uh, use the uh, Bandos set and make do with that and be happy with it. Uh, and try to get through this quest for you all uh, so you can have a video uh, of that uh, this run through. All right, so I'm standing here by the loads the um, turn when loads done. However, um, sound warning sounds when you, uh, there was a little bit of a struggle getting through here. Uh, they uh, uh, all that were uh, in this area here. Pardon me, Talitra. There's a way to, to run through here. Uh, do, do past sticks, past traps, squeeze through trees. Uh, different ways to get through here. Uh, and then in Talitra, uh, so that's one way. The other way is to uh, the teleport sea that they that you got in Morning's Ends Part 1. You can just click on Activate, and that will bring you directly into Lutra. Uh, you saw that already in Morning's Ends Part 1. I thought I would uh, just remind you of that uh, in the beginning of this video, in case you did not see the previous one. Uh, there's Iron Wind. All right, so now what we're doing is I uh, got the information uh, thereafter, uh, searching for some ancient temple. Uh, all right, so uh, temple of light. Uh, all right, uh, all right. Uh, so they, uh, so we need to uh, going through here. All right, so we did the already just now, the that. Uh, uh, we uh, reported the findings back to her, so now we need to go back to Ardon and speak to the head mourner. And I need to make a couple of spaces, so uh, let's see. Uh, because I need to have only the murder gear on and nothing else to get in, so I'm gonna put my uh, that's telephone zero away. I'm going to put the crystal trinket away. I will need to get that back out in order to teleport. Uh, where did I have this before? Let's put it here. Uh, all right. Now I need to go to the mourners, and I'm only supposed to wear murder gear to get in the front door. So I need to take off the. At I think their amulet, all, all, I don't think they see the ring, but uh, anyways. Into the door, in where the door is. Open the trap door. You don't have to right click. Uh, same as the from Marines on part one. And then. Uh, now we speak to the head mourner. And here we go, Morning Sense Part 2, that allows us to start. Uh, we already went through this information last time. We'll accept the quest. All right, so then he gives me the new key. Uh, if we did one small favor, we'll be able to right click on that and add to the key ring. And then that uh, will make things easier. Uh, and then I will... Uh, Go to open door, we'll now be able to go through the door. All right, and then at this point, I'm going to switch to my combat here. 
because there are creatures down here, uh, dark beasts here, which I don't have the 90s some, uh, Slayer yet to attack them, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run, continue running through. Continue. Right, so this uh, here is the diagram. Uh, so I better tell Iron Wind. Alright, so it looks like I'm already being attacked by the things. So search slave. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Alright, so uh, bear with me. I'm, I'm gonna uh, pause really quick uh, and take care of something and then I will continue the video. Alright, uh, I'm back. Uh, I haven't moved from the spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue the video now. The uh, Before the break, I said that the dialogue center should report back to Arnwin. I checked, I'm checking now the uh, quest log, that's what it tells me to do. So, um, it turns out I should have cut my teleport crystal out, so, uh, <laughs> uh, let me find a close, oh, lodestone of a pig, you got that? Alright, get the teleport out, port to Iron Man. That's the latest news. I found the entrance to the temple. I was asking to investigate one of the dukus who went missing. I found them massacred at the entrance, surrounded by strange shadows. Uh, so there, I went stuck from finding it. I was hoping I would not have to ask you this, but I need your help again. We need to restore the safeguards in the temple. All right, so we're asking about the temple. They're, they're going to tell about the, the, some sort of crystals. Um, that so uh, we need to go there and uh, fix that uh, the moment. All right, so we need to uh, uh, run, uh, run through. All right, uh, search the enter the temple. Uh, I, 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 I might have missed another step. Uh, just a moment. Oh, okay, no, I didn't. All right, find a black and crystal. All right, so that's the next step is to find a black and crystal. All Again. Right, so that's me where the ring just uh, it's not the army of the sword. So that's the answer to that question. Uh, we need to make sure this door is open, or we'll let you throw a right click. Uh, if you do, if I just click, it will climb up the staircase. And, you know, if but you have to right click here and open trap door, or somehow manage to rotate things around so you can click on it. Uh, Dragics is difficult sometimes at best. 
Uh, and then you, we should already have the key on our ring if you completed one small favor. If not, you'll need to take up a back, back space with that. Uh, and then once we get to the door, uh, switch to our combat here. And then go, go, go. All right, so. Uh, here, slumped over. All right, so I knew there was a, uh, someone slumped over. I need to find uh, a guard that is slumped over. I wish they wouldn't darken this because uh, it makes it harder for me to see on this one. Um, it looks like it's dark in the video too. Uh, on uh, graphics. Come on, open the graphics. Brightness. That helps a little bit. Uh, not much. All right, I, I need to see if I can find the. Uh, it says there's a slumped over guard. Uh, it's very hard to see with it being this dark. But, uh, I will see if I can find it. Uh, guard slumped over against the northern wall. All right, oh, here we go. Search guard. All right, so that's the color wheel. That's the journal, which you, which you should probably read for, uh, you should probably read through this for uh, quest knowledge. I got to the end before that attack, at least that's fine. Uh, uh, all right, so black and crystal. Uh, enter the temple and climb the staircase. Uh, so there's supposed to be a staircase. I'm going to enter here and climb the staircase. All right, and then... Um, all right, uh, just, just a moment. Uh, I'm going to find the... Uh, Run south, climb. Run south. Uh, okay, so it's south. All right, so here's the ladder here. All right, and then. Then north with a pair of staircases. Move. To a pair of staircases. And then run around to the center of the eastern wall. And here's the black and crystal. Search crystal. There are many black and crystal shards here. Try to chisel off. All right, so we got the black and crystal, and then I was attacked again. That's why I'm saying is that you will be constantly attacked uh, by these shadows throughout. So uh, you need to have foods ready for that. All right, so chisel off a chunk of the black crystal. All right, and then so we have that. Now we report back to Iron when, which I uh, was patient to keep my crystal seed this time. I'm going to need to show you at some point how to recharge that. So um, just pay attention in the series. Uh, uh, this is the two where we started in Morning Sounds part one. One of them will recharge that crystal. Uh, but you need to get to zero first before uh, you can, unless you charge it. It doesn't let you top off a partially charged crystal for what, whatever reason. Um, All right, so I'm gonna eat one of the foods so I can have um, a blank space. And then I use the crystalline alunin. All right, uh, 
I done talked to her, wanted to get a newly made crystal. Uh, so this is a newly made crystal. I talked to Aaron when I got And then if we go into the quest log, Lunar has uh, made me a new copy of the crystal. Iron One has asked that I now power, uh, I now power the crystal by taking it to the altar at the end of the temple of light. After that, I must place it amongst the shards where it came. All right, so uh, so I need to go back. Curious. Uh, at some point, they give me a teleport back there. I'm not sure at what point that is. Uh, let me uh, make some space because I'm going to need that. Uh, so it says so, so I still need the Marner gear. So, all right, I'll, I'll I'll work with the space that I have here. Uh, back to Ardon. This is the setup I need to get into the waters area. So follow the same procedure we did all the other times. Uh, make sure this door is open. Uh, either right click uh, or uh, adjust the map. Go down the trap door. south and west so for the other door um, switch to your combat here and then continue through probably could have um, I'm not really sure that I need that I'll Uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of that because I need the space. So, ascend the stairs. Pull the crystal lever. Collect. Uh, take all the items. Uh, so I now have uh, all the items. Uh, I'm going to be a bit tight on space uh, here for most of the time. It says I need 16 to 20 spaces. Um, yet the Martyr's Gear takes up six of the spaces. The, uh, the Rook takes up the space. The Bakuna takes up the space. You know, the, all the other things take up the space. The Food takes up spaces. So I'm I'm not sure um, if, uh, what that is had in mind, but uh, there's another case of bad programming. Well, anyways, uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. Return to the uh, okay, so I'm just there, pull the lever, uh, and then co uh, collect the five items for mirrors and a crystal. Use the mirror on the nearby pillar, rotate it, and point it north. All right, so we need a uh, we have this. Uh, and we have it pointed north, so that, that that's done. Uh, on the north pier, pillar, and point it west. Uh, so we're going to point this, uh, and then we're going to point this 
West. Come on. Ah, come on, Jaggers. Come on. Alright, so it's rotated west. Alright, now use a mirror on the closest pillar and point it south. Alright, so we're going to point this one south. Alright, that's south. Alright. Uh, now let me, uh, come on. We're doing good, come on. Come on, it's hot. Go south, use your yellow crystal, crystal on the next pillar. Yellow crystal. Right, so now we have yellow light. Now, if you, if you look on the color wheel, yellow and is opposite of blue. All right, so th this is um, the important. All right, that's important here. All right, so uh, then you use your mirror on the south pole and point it east. So we're going to point it at the blue. So, you know, yellow and blue. All right, just, uh, I wanted to make sure that we were clear. Use mirror on the pillar and point it uh, east. All right, now, uh, uh, all right, uh, point it east. All right, so I remember on this one, when I, uh, the first time I tried this quest, uh, I was actually um, uh, on another account. I was 90, something like 99 agility, and I, I, I failed this one like 100 times, and I had to come back at least 15 times with more potions and food to get across this, and I was, I was ranting and, and uh, I don't want to say raving, it's not really um, ranting about it, uh, uh, anyone would be. But, all right, so let's, let's give this a go and see how, how many times it takes me to, to get past this. I did something right. So we're going to pass through here. And I need to open the closed chest and search the chest. So I get a blue, or should I say cyan, and I get two more crystals. Uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, also a blue light door. Uh, however. Uh, that, uh, this one is, um, blocking the light, so it's no longer getting through here. So, all right, uh, let, let me see what's next. Uh, click on, uh, you will, you might fail a few times, keep trying to make it across, on the door, loot the chest, magenta door, pull and collect from the collector, the same one you pulled on the first three steps. All right, so let me, uh, Maybe. Alright, well, it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, I'm uh, 84 here and I get a quest fine, but when you're 99, you, you, you fail it 100 times. And yeah, it really was 100 times. I had to make 10 trips back here to do that first step. Uh, I remember that clearly. Right, I got to clear up three spaces, so. Uh, so I picked up three more things. I need to pull the lever. Uh, and I need to collect, take all the items. All right. All right, magenta door. All right, out of here and point the light north. I see the lights pointed north. Uh, all right. Uh, come on. Uh, west. Uh, 
that's that's west. west. Uh, all right. Uh, reflect north on the westernmost pillar. So north on the westernmost pillar. Uh, then we reflect east. Actually, that's east. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the magenta there, which, which I need green. So I, I don't, I think I do not have green. Let me uh, see what it's asking me to do. Um, add the cyan crystal to the eastern pillar. So use the cyan. All right, I don't know what they're asking me for it because. Uh, I need to use a all right, so I'm, I, that's a, apparently a messed up. Use the yellow crystal here, and now that light's green. So it's yellow plus oh, right, they're saying that that's green. Whatever. Pass light barrier. Oh. Open the closed chest. Search. I got uh, four more items. Uh, so. So let's see, back to the, Collect, take all items. All right, uh, there's somewhere in there that I, I need to uh, use the mirror here. Right, so now we're on sign or pull and collect from the collector. Uh, I thought light north. Now I need to search it again because. Alright. So that's the north. I uh, reflect light down. Alright, so search. Uh, search. Reflect the light. So that is up. So rotate it uh, that way. It looks like that's down. Um, okay, so I, I don't, I'll leave it like that. Because it would come in like that's like this, and it would, it's like this. So the, the light would come this way and reflect down. So. I'm uh, not sure if that makes any sense, but um, anyway, reflect the light side, long side of the mirror on the south side. All right, the sun the stars and reflect the light west. All 
and there it is. So you should be able to see the light here. And I should now be able to direct this west. And there we go. All right. Uh, reflect the light north. So it's north. Now make sure you have your mouse, your map pointed the right way. Reflect the light north. Run around to the north side, reflect the light up. To attack, you go away. Rotate. That's west, that's east. That's up. Come on, we're done. Move. Alright, so that's up. Okay, so reflect the light, go back upstairs and use the yellow crystal on the pillar. So, so far, this is um, kind of easy. The biggest problems that I've been having is actually with the Jagus interface um, more than anything else. So, all right, so uh, here I am. Uh, that's where the light was. Uh, so, point the light up, go back upstairs, use the yellow crystal on the pillar. So, use the yellow crystal on the pillar. Alright. Climb a little louder directly north. I don't even know this time. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, we select the light west. That's west. That's interesting. Change the light. But I think there's something in there. I believe can't get in there anyways. I don't really care. Let's just get the quest done. Go. Go back down. We're always south. Up the ladder. Nice south. Run to the northwest corner. Light south. Run to the south one, but I'm gonna reflect reflect the light down. I 
Okay, so that should be done. Line edge. Okay. Uh, line it on the direction of the light, so it should be on. So we're here now in the bottom corner. Ah, uh, wait a minute. There is no room. So here is now where we need the rope. The small room slightly northwest of the ladder. Climb over the wall and use the rope on the rock. Use the rope on the rock. Oh. Right, climb down the rock. Right, so there we are. So I have a red light, this is reflected here. Uh, she has to be able to go in there, open the closed chest. All right, just uh, open. Search the chest. Mm, oh, shut. All right, S -s stop treating me like that. Uh, interface issues again. Search the open chest. All right, so I got a uh, blue crystal. All right, so. I'll it's a blue crystal, so I should be able to, to access, be able to access uh, uh, yellow, yeah, correct, yellow, yellow door is next. So, uh, let me just make sure. Alright, but I clicked on this a few times. This interface issues again. Alright, so just uh, be patient with this. And you know, at the end of the quest series, we get uh, the offset, which is uh, all worth it all. So move, 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 move. Alright, vamanos. Alright, so, uh, uh, so I'm done with that. I have to go to exit the room with the chest, climb up the rope over the little wall, take the yellow crystal from the pillar. All right, so yellow crystal from the. Take the yellow. Crystal from the pillar near the north wall. All right, so we go to the north wall. We're gonna search this pillar of light. We're gonna take the crystal, and we're gonna use the blue crystal on it instead. So now that's blue. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the south ladder and climb up. Uh, 
I'm going to go to the northwest corner. Hey. We're going to get a sad brother wall drops again. We're our best to be patient. Sad. Sad again. So here is the northwest corner. <sighs> what are we doing on the northwest corner? <sighs> Reflect the light down. All right, so search, rotate, rotate. Rotate. Right, so the light's coming from the east, so the large part of the, the mirror uh, needs to be on the east side. So um, the light's coming from here. Here's the mirror. The light's coming from here, reflecting, going down. I hope that makes sense. Possibly taking another uh, another break soon, but let me let me see how far I can get. All right, so collect southwest mirror. Search, take the mirror. Descend the southern ladder. Descend the stairs next to the collector. Over the northwest corner. taking a break soon. Uh, all right, so uh, so here we have the blue light shining into the yellow door. Reflect the light south. So there's two yellow doors reflecting it south <sighs> and the chest is here search the chest I get a fractured crystal. This is the important one because uh, this will actually split the light into three. And we'll need we'll, we'll need that to to split the light and then recombine it. All right, so oh, 
if you ever looked at light through a prism, you actually get like a rainbow. Uh, so all, all lights are combined. Right, and run to the northwest, run through the door, and reflect the light back. Let's hit the mirror and go here. Right. And we go back, um, heading back up. Uh, pull the lever again. <sighs> Pull the lever. All right. I collect everything. Uh, take all items. Um, uh, leave us some more items in there. I'm not sure. Uh, Yeah, there's some riding with them. We're going to have to uh, come back here and get those. Uh, reflect the light. I'm going to hold on to the stuff that I have here. Use the mirror and reflect the light north. Reflect the light west. And then reflect the light south. And now I'm actually going to uh, go back and um, collect the remaining items. Collect. All right. Oh, shoot. All right. I, I set up collecting the remaining items at Puddle Lover. Right, hold on. I'll be extremely patient with this game. Um, I don't like, I'm only trying to confirm that the thing is empty um, because the programmers have made did such a horrible job with this uh, this quest requiring uh, like 40 items. In our backpack with only 28 spaces, but dealing with what they have. All right, so I did northwest, south, and I put the yellow crystal and next pillar heading south. So I use yellow crystal and next one heading south. All right, so that, that that's there. Now let me go back and see if I can get everything collect. Take the mirrors, collect, there's nothing in the tray. All right, so I've confirmed that I have everything. Uh, all right, now here's where I left off. Uh, I put the yellow crystal in there. All right, so reflect the, okay. So I need to reflect this light east. Alright, so reflect this light east. That's east. Alright, so it looks like it wants me to cross in here again. So here we go. 
Uh, but I uh, need to actually cross successfully. That's the challenge. All right, no one's, uh, that, that's the magenta door down there. So I, uh, I need to be able to get into that. All right, so. Use the blue crystal inside and roof. Running south, the front lights and cross the wall supports. Use the blue crystal inside and recross the wall support. Use the blue crystal inside. Okay. So we're gonna uh, blue. Crystal inside, and then we cross the wall supports. All right, oh, I fell off. We, we're going uh, across this one so many times. That's why I fell out so many times. But uh, lucky, I'm doing. I seem to be doing better with uh, this one. Uh, retrieve the mirror next to the wall supports. So I'm going to retrieve this mirror. Uh, use uh, to uh, take the yellow crystal. Alright. Run north. And reflect the light up. So that's going up now. Climb the south ladder. Use the mirror on the pillar where the light where the, is not to come up. Third pillar of the north. Run. Reflect the light south. Run south, first list pillar. This is the first list pillar. Add your fractured crystals, put some, the beam in the four directions. Use fractured crystal. Uh, so now we have four directions. Run to the first west pillar. Reflect it down. Wait for Jax to finish. Whatever that may be, I don't know, maybe in another life.
So now let's me rotate it. It's, uh, I can see not nothing. No, uh, yeah, this looks like it's down. All right, so so that's the first pillar. I reflect it down. Okay, now we're onto the southernmost lip pillar. I reflect it east. What is this going? I'm gonna wait again. The the interface is doing something. Just 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 wait on the occasion. Okay, it's working again. All right. So uh, uh, this one. Let me read it again. The southernmost uh, and reflected east. All right. So this is reflected east. Run to the pillar in the southeast corner and reflect the light down. Alright, so I'm going to reflect this light down. And that's correct. So, uh, the... Interface, come on. Alright, so the, the mirror is like this, the, the light's coming like this, and it reflects it down. Uh, all right, so that's that's done. Uh, so that's uh, large side pointing west. Go to the ground floor and the green light dropping, dropping. Ground floor. Ground floor. Down, down ladder. Green light dropping down here. Green light down and point the south. Alright, so that's pointing south. Point the light east. Right, so that is east. Right, so I've now pointed the light east and you can see in here this is the uh, uh, place above where I put the, the blue crystal and then uh, above that I shine light down so that there's a blue light coming in through here so now uh, uh, so I passed the, the door the that the green light went into the magenta look at look here at the color wheel all right so now I need the the blue light to pass through the yellow, so uh, I need to rotate this to go through here. Uh, I need to open this chest and search. Can I have another factory crystal? Uh, 
And I just exit this room and go back to the first level. And we're, now we're going to run into some, um, now we're going to start running into some issues with a lot of, a lot of issues with space. So I'm going to need to go back that, uh, the same one I did for this door and go back and uh, a lot of times and uh, continue to collect from that spot. So just uh, bear with me. So this time I'm this time I'm really trying to pull a lever. Alright, and I need to collect. So take all items. Alright. So I'm gonna need to this time make sure I'm right clicking on it and so I'm collecting and not um, pulling again. In uh, this one, um, this one is actually the finishing step uh, on setting up the Temple of Light. So, uh, once these are placed, then we should be uh, about done. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's patiently get this last one, and then we don't really have to um, go through this much trouble. Uh, Alright, so... Use the hand mirror on the top uh, pillar, point the light north, and then point the light down. So large side on the south. All right, so it's yeah, you know, on the light. So. So that is, that's there. Uh, they go downstairs, reflect the light west. And remember, I need to come back up here and collect uh, because there's uh, more items in, in the, more items in the bin. Uh, so I'm here, I need to reflect the light west. Uh, and then the fractured crystal here. Now I get uh, four directions. Uh, and I run south and place the other. Uh, Alright, so I need to go and get the other fractured crystal now. Collect uh, right click. If you um, don't having a space problem like uh, like I am here, right click and collect. Uh, take the crystal. All right, so I got that, and then right click, collect, take the mirrors. Right click, collect. There's still mirrors in there. Uh, otherwise, it would say there's none. So. Just keep in mind, I'll need to come back one more time to collect. So going back to where I was here. Um, so from here, I'm heading south. That's amazing. I'm doing um, uh, one hour, uh, ten minutes so far. Uh, as I said, this is one of the longest quests. All right, so run south and place the other fractured crystal. Alright, so that gives me um, light in many directions here. Uh, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six directions of light. Uh, we're gonna, I believe we're going to try to... Uh, maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to create all of the... Uh, all the directions of light so that we can uh, combine it at the end. Um, 
All right, so let's do it. All right, so we'll run west and reflect the light up. All right, so west. Uh, and this light should go up. Whenever Jagex decides that I should do it. Rotate the mirror so the large side is e yeah, or small side is these. So now it's up. I run east two pillars and reflect the light up. Whenever Jagex decides I should do it. Alright, so that's up. Alright, so run west one pillar and north two. Against the northern wall. And reflect the light up when, whenever Jagus decides I can do it. All right. Ah, horrible programming. Absolutely horrible programming. There's no safe place to stand. Absolutely horrible programming. I'm going to open one of these primal fees. Uh, I need to top up my health. Alright. Am I allowed? No, not yet. Okay, now everything is done. I, I, I can put it up. Good. Alright, we'll take the mirror. Alright, so now that's, that's up. Alright, so... Go to the middle floor. Northern wall. And let me collect maybe this two more, uh, one or two more mirrors here. Collect, take the mirrors, right click, collect. There's nothing in the tray. So I, it says there's nothing in the tray. So what I have here is now all the remaining ones. All right, so the middle floor, northern wall. Put the yellow crystal here. I just need to put it in so I can do that whether I'm being attacked or not. Alright, uh, so the yellow crystal is there. Now go climb the nearby ladder and reflect the yellow light east. There should be a nearby area. Uh, and reflect the light. West. I right, said so there, I reflected that west. All right. All right, so now we need to go down and go down to the far south ladder. Uh, up, climb up the far south ladder. Run north one and west one. All right, so north one and west one. Add a mirror and reflect the green beam west.
Right, the green beam is west. Right, so run east two pillars and reflect light west. All right, and then uh, run west one all right, pillar and reflect the light north. All right, so that one's north. Cost is uh, staircases. Uh, and the first northern pillar and reflect the light west. When Jagex says I'm allowed. So that lights west. Right, run west one pillar and place the blue crystal. Oh, so that's the blue crystal. Run to the northwest corner. Reflect the red light south. For the saw area, make sure you get the sodden help. Smart one, Jagged. All right. So reflect this light south. Right, the right, run, the, uh, run directly south, one pillar, reflect the light east. So the light is pointed, reflected east. I right, climb down the stairs in the middle of the room twice. So as you can see, there's light pointing everywhere now. So, oh. Face work. I said down. All right. So, uh, so I went down twice past the door. And we're here. All right. Pass the door. Reflect the light. It creates a four-way color beam. That's how we're combining all of the colors. Uh, 
So there's a hole in the back. Alright, so this is actually the um, this is actually the, the uh, this entrance is actually the back of the underground pass when we did that quest. These were the uh, dwarves, uh, dwarves, I think, dwarves uh, that we spoke to at the bottom of the underground pass. So uh, uh, in the corner, uh, southeast corner, I believe, when we did that video. Uh, so it's actually a back entrance uh, that goes through here. So, so. I right, saw so, uh, head west past the light door. Uh, cut the scene with Thurgo if you have not. If you don't have a death talisman, read the full quest guide. What to do? All right. All right. So we have a. We should be able to enter the. All right, so we're, this is the death altar. Uh, we should be able to teleport here. So let's see, activate uh, death altar, teleport. Okay, this is after Marines in part two. All right, so it won't let us use that until after we complete whatever. Um, if you, uh, all right, so onto the mysterious death ones. Use the newly made crystal on the on the death ones. Here's this item list. So these are these are a long list of things that he needs. Uh, you may teleport at this time if needed. Um, use the newly made crystal on the Black crystal on the top floor, east of the room. All right, so I need to head back out. Uh, and I need to use this on the black, this one on the so search pillar, I'm going to rotate this. And head out this way. And up. Up. And then I need to find a black crystal. I need to use the newly made crystal on the black crystal. Uh, that's um, this one's now um, investigate because this one successfully powering the temple safeguards. So we've now uh, safeguarded the temple. All right. So do not teleport you if you forget. All right. We're trying to uh, to return to Thargo. Use the underground pass is much faster. So let me see what my quest guard says. I have re uh, replaced the new crystal uh, safeguards uh, are in place. I should go speak to Ari and when. So activate.
tucked. All right, I'm gonna. All right, so uh, achievement complete mornings and past two part two. At uh, an hour and twenty six minutes, I got two quest points, twenty thousand agility uh, experience, crystal trinket. Uh, so this crystal trinket should be able to access the um, temple of light. Uh, access to the death altar, access to the dark beasts, uh, and two treasure hunter keys. Alright, so here we are. Uh, two treasure hunter keys. Uh, I'm going to bring the protein pack and uh, I'm going to get that large star. Which uh, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in running. All right. So this quest is done. Let me just see really quick here. Um, so this uh, is required for within the light. Uh, and then, uh, if we continue the quest series, we'll eventually do Plague's End and have access to the elf city uh let's see if there's anything else uh so i'm not sure okay if we complete the 50 items that we have here uh we will get uh i believe it's a death talisman so uh if you already have a death talisman or you bought one, or if you don't need one, then you don't need to do that. It's just optional. But, um, all right, so if you um, like this uh, video, um, here's like, share, subscribe. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you found it really helped, we'd appreciate the super links. Um, so take care, have a nice day, see you in the next video.